Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So uh, I came across today something that I thought was pretty cool um, and I wanted to show people, show people its coolness. Uh, now this is really for, pe for people living in Israel. This is a, um, I think, really interesting tool to know about, useful tool, um, and it's a national GIS tool. So I've talked on this channel before about the uh, GIS system that Riyat Yerushalayim, the Jerusalem municipality, puts out there and it is uh, quite good, a uh, lot more data there than on Google Maps. Now that you might be asking, well, what's a GIS and what is the difference between Google Maps? Well, it'll kind of explain itself when I show you what this thing can do, but basically uh, you have a lot more information than Google Maps just being sort of a commercial or sort of um, open access mapping tool. This thing is an official government resource, uh, govmap.gov.il. And the government puts in and various government ministries put in different information layers to the map that lets you see where things are. And those things can be munici official municipal boundaries or fire stations or ATM machines, etc. So it's uh, really, really quite powerful. So um, the URL for this system here is govmap.gov.il. Now, I just want to say my Hebrew is so-so. And uh, there is an English interface, so you can click on English and get that up in English. But like most things in, uh, I was going to say in Hebrew again, in Israel, you're much better off sticking with Hebrew if you want to see everything it can do. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, I mentioned the Hebrew because the pronunciation at times might be a little bit spotty. Uh, so nevertheless, um, so that's how to do it. Now, you can use this as a uh, regular web user. Anonymous, you don't need to register or you can register. And if you do register, you can get more out of um, this tool. So um, there's also documentation up there on the internet. So if you type in GovMap, uh, you will be able to access this PDF, the GovMap user guide. Did I get that right? It's, it's the vowels that kill me. You don't know the vowels in Hebrew. They're not written out. So uh, if it's or some other vowelization, please correct me in the comments. So um, there's this 30 page uh, PDF um, telling you everything this thing can do essentially. And what is, what is good about this is you have here on page five of the current uh, manual, there is um, a comparison table showing you what you can do glisha anonimit and what you can do glisha im shemish tamesh. So the, the, this is what you can do without registering and this is what you can do with an account. So you can save layers. You also have uh, Shimush um, API usage. So there's an API for this too, which is pretty cool. Um, and uh, as you would expect, in order to be able to use the API, you need to be registered. Yetzirat uh, Shirva, creation of a layer. So you can actually create your own layer, a uh, private layer on the GIS uh, system if you have a, uh, that was, a taut, that was what's technically called a tautology, GIS system. To create your own layer on the GIS, you, um, you need to have an account, basically. So, um, let, let me show you some more things that are in this. Um, uh, I'm gonna have to move myself, move myself again, slightly, here. Watch as I travel around the screen. So um, in addition to the English, there is here at the bottom, you see you have Shinui uh, Reka, which means change the background. So um, ah, apologies, apologies for this technical, for these technical mishaps. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the other side. Okay, so, ne so now, now you can see, right? So there is Mapa Reka, background map, and the default option is Rechovot uh, Umavnim, Mivnim, Mivanim, streets and buildings and uh but here's watch this very very cool silum avir will get you to your satellite imagery and the resolution as in jerusalem is just like would blow google maps out of the water like so many times over it's not even funny like have a look at it it's like seriously seriously pretty impressive now i know i, I follow on twitter some real um uh, you know, these guys who like follow airplanes and like follow the like open source satellite imagery. So I'd imagine they're probably laugh laughing at me calling this very good. But from my perspective, uh, compared to Google Maps, I find the resolution here very, very clear. Um, another cool thing with this is that you can go between, uh, you can change between different uh, years of satellite imagery. So this is 2020, 
2019, all the way back to 2000, and, sorry, 2005, 7, 10, 18, 19, and 20. Now, I've just focused on a random patch of Tel Aviv for this uh, screencast, but uh, you could probably compare development if you went through the years. Like if I just kind of, let's see somewhere that might've been built. I mean, in Israel over the course of 15 years, where, where isn't being built is probably a better question to ask. Let's see what's going on by this patch of the coast. 2020, 2019. Do you notice something guys? You do. What did we have in 2019 that we didn't have in 2020? Someone has moved in the sun chairs. Sun chairs. No sun chairs. Uh, and uh, if you actually know about this stuff and you are spend a lot of time doing it, you'll probably notice many more differences. I mean, you can probably see, look, I'm pretty sure there is some development there. Uh, well, I can confirm that this building has been in Tel Aviv since 2005 at least. So that's at Silum Avio. Uh, now there is also Silum Avio Mishulav. Ah, Mishulav means mixed. So here you have a mixture of satellite imagery with street names uh, superimposed on the satellite imagery. So that's pretty cool. So if I just go back to uh, Silum Avio, um, I, don't necess I don't know what street this is, right? Uh, you do always, by the way, um, yeah, this is in the screen, thankfully. So you can see X, Y. So you're, you'll always be able to know where you are geographically through the system. Uh, but if I go for the, uh, I like this one, Silum Avir Mishulav, and you can see what, how much information is superimposed. We've got street numbers. This is 163 Ben Yehuda in Tel Aviv. This, uh, so you can see exactly where we are on the, on the map. What else is there? There's so much to unpack in this thing. It's a whole goodie box of, uh, of geographical exploration here. Silum Avir CIR. Um, I feel like this is thermal imagery. Someone, someone more knowledgeable than I probably knows because all the trees are red, have suddenly become red. Um, so I reckon this is something to do. This is something of interest to botanists. That's my guess. I could probably Google it, Google it, but um, I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave the suspense open. Uh, Mapot Historiot. Oh, cool. Historical maps. So uh, this is not, so we can look at the 1930 map of Tel Aviv. Look at this. This thing is like, this is a free resource. This is just like out there on the internet. You can, this is nuts. Uh, what other historical maps can we look at? Look at 1919. Ir Atika Yerushalayim is there, um, and uh, Mapot on a different scale. So let me just go back to, um, and oh, and you can also do no backgrounds. You can just have, and I'll, I'll show you the, some of the things you can do in a second there. So let's just go back to this one. So um, that's how you do that. And, um, and uh, you can edit also things or put them onto the layers. You can print them. You can also save the map. So like if you wanted to, I don't know, grab a chunk of satellite imagery from Tel Aviv, uh, you can go Shemur Mapa and you can, watch this now, I can like select an area. Uh, I don't want to save it as a, as a base layer and I click on Shemur and now it's downloaded a PNG just of that imagery. I mean, this is, this is good, no? This is very, this is a very nice tool. Okay, um, let me just show you the couple of things I did want to really show or highlight besides all the many things. So you can register and save things and do more with it. And there's also a little, uh, midud, there's a little measurement function here that you can do. Uh, you can measure the area between points um, and you can, uh, you can take straight line measurements, I'm presuming. Uh, yeah. But the, a lot of the functionality here that I, that I found interesting was in Shikhvot. Shikhvot means, uh, stands for, and I hope the pronunciation is good here, uh, stands for layers. So what you can do is search through all the different layers of information that are embedded um, onto this map. So let me show you some of the things that are on there. Um, so again, I found a discrepancy between Hebrew and between English. I found in, in when I used the thing in Hebrew, there were many more layers. Um, so if I want to just click on to, and by the way, one more thing I should have mentioned here, I'm just gonna bring myself back to this, this part of the screen is you can just search this like a regular um, Google map. So I, let's say, I don't know, it's probably somewhere on Yafo 100 in Jerusalem. Yafo Mea Yerushalayim, search. 
and now we're in Jerusalem on uh, Yafo 100 and we have the, the, this, uh, this map built up there and you can see there's also satellite imagery in Jerusalem. Okay, so two things that I thought were cool. If you go into Shikhvot, right? So this is layers and the first ones are like gonna be sort of the main ones that they've put up there for your interest. But two very much caught my attention. One of these was the um, ABC divisions in the West Bank. That's area A, area B and area C. Um, and the second was, I mean, there is tons and tons of them. Oh, the second one's the cell phone towers. I'm not sure I should tell the people worried about 5G how to do this, but uh, you know what, we're, we're gonna go all out here. So I have my ABC layer already on my GIS. I'm just gonna turn it on. Before I do, let me go out to somewhere you can see what's about to happen. So here we are without it. And we've just lit up the West Bank. Um, we've lit up the West Bank with into area A, B and C. Now I've said before that it's very hard to find where is area A, area B and area C. And uh, this is probably the most uh, useful tool I have ever seen with respect to that in terms of like providing the most detail. Now you can find UN maps, you can find other maps, but this one is really, really powerful. So as you can see inside the green line of Israel, um, it is just not colored. And in the West Bank, Yehuda and Shomron, whatever terminology you wish to use, and I, I, don't, I don't use any terminology politically. I just call it the West Bank because that's what I hear people calling it. But Yehuda and Shomron, um, you can see the colors are all over the place. And you can just kind of figure it out for yourself that you know this is gonna be area C. Um, I'm actually not sure about that. I know what area A is, that's gonna be Bethlehem, Ramallah, etc. No, this is area B, I'm sorry. And then everything that isn't area A or area B is area C. And you can edit the layer as well. So you have um, Odot, Odot uh, Shikhva about the layer. There's no info there. Presumably it's coming from the army, I would guess, um, or from uh, Kogat. Bitsani Tuach Mirchave Lishkva. All right, so this is where you can, how you, you can change how you find out info about it. I'll show you that in a second. Um, and then, whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. And you can also, if you go into Sinun, you can filter. Uh, so there's a Sinun for Azor here, and you can choose to show area A, area B, H2 and, H, H2 and Hebron are just in, uh, in, sorry, H2 and H1 are just in Hebron and in, in Hebron. Uh, I'm gonna go for uh, show everything. And um, now if I just do a zoom out, uh, we should be able to get that, that layer back in a second. Okay, no, I'm not exactly sure what happened. I had to like untake and take, but whatever, the layers come back. So what you can do uh, that is a very, very, I haven't seen this before is uh, you can firstly click on any layer and you can see um, area A. And I think these are probably just gonna be generic um, so it says Hamida Hamit Hamit Parsem Hino Lidi Abelvad. So it's basically saying this is for informational purposes only. Don't rely upon this. The Enu Mida Rishmi O Mechayev. So it's not official information. Because Mechayev Mida Akavua Mitsui Etzel Gorme Amitsua B'Menehel Ha'Ezrachi. So basically, don't rely upon this uh, for whatever purposes you might wish to but you can see here the very clear divisions. And then if I click on area B, it's gonna say the same thing. So it's not specific, but you can see the exact division between area A and area B down to the level of individual houses in, where are we? I think this is Beth Bethlehem. Yeah, Bethlehem here. So you can see Bethlehem, it's showing, and I was under the impression Beit Jala was area C always. So that's interesting. It's showing Beit Jala as area A. Uh, yeah, it's showing Beit... Mm, is it area A or C? No, it's area A. It's showing definitely, yeah, it's showing Beit Jala as area A. And then there's like parts of Beit Jala before Kvisha Minerot, the roads that are area C. Um, it's very strange. And this is the, and you can see actually more clearly here, more parts of Bethlehem as you come out of it, there is again, this kind of division here between area A 
and area, no, this is between area A and area B. So area B is joint control of Israel and the PA and area A is full control of the PA for those not aware. Um, you, can, you can see where area, so Ramallah for example is area, area A. Um, some of these don't really make sense. Beitanina area B, is Beitanina really area B? I'm not sure that's correct. Um, is the Aram area B, I, that one I'm pretty sure is accurate. So you can see all the different area B villages here um, and uh, some of them are remarkably close to Jerusalem. Uh, you can see here as Azaim, some of it is in area B, this port, this little parcel. So again, it says don't rely upon this, but um, if you do, if you're ever curious as to Husan is in area B, a lot of people think it's area A. Um, and you can see again exactly where the where the divisions are. So that's pretty cool. So that's the area A, B, C bit. And the other thing I want to show, which I thought was useful. Oh yeah, the cell phone towers. So click on uh, Antenot Cellulariot Pilot, oper Operational Antenna Towers. And now if you go into Jerusalem, let's say, I don't know, somewhere like here, you can actually see a list of all the cellular antennas in the area and uh, this is uh, again quite cool so if you click into one of them they actually have the logos of the operators uh, on them which is again quite interesting so i think this is partner am i, am I correct Pelophone, sorry Pelophone is that like blue one this is cellcom i know that much and this one is Pelophone. So Pelophone is Pelophone is like the green eiffel tower ones so if you click on to like Pelophone, you can find any antenna you can find where it is this one is on Malkei Israel 41 um, this one and uh, you can also see what it's broadcasting um, you can see the site number um, you can see the date uh, you can see the last time it was checked uh, some notes about it where exactly it is and you can see here at the bottom I can't highlight for some reason on this. Uh, you can see where I'm like circling my mouse. Technologiot Shidur Do Shalosh Araba. So this is a three and four G radio antenna. And I mentioned, I, I said I probably shouldn't have said this because like, people are concerned about five G. So if you do want to know what an antenna in your in your neighborhood is broadcasting on, you can see in Tel Aviv we might find a five G uh, some five G infrastructure. Nope. Now there's probably a way to filter on, if I go back to Shikhvot and I go into Antenot and I go on to Sinun. Oh wow, we got, we've got everything here, Chevrat. So if I clicked on to Cellcom, Mitkadem, now we're just looking at only Cellcom towers, right? Uh, Basisi. So I can, uh, I can take off, or Nakeakol, I can take off that filter for filtering by the company. Um, I'm just trying to see, can I search filter on the technology? I can indeed. Technology uh, Otshidu. Let's see, there must be one. Is there one for 5G? Door, yeah, there is. Door Hamish. Not showing any in Tel Aviv. That makes me a bit suspicious. Maybe there's, maybe they haven't deployed 5G in Tel Aviv yet. Anyway, you get the idea. This thing is like, really really insanely powerful you can uh, search for all manner of government infrastructure filter on it um there, there's so much more here than cell phone towers and area abc there's a bunch of other things uh and it's well worth taking a look into taking a look at uh even if you're just curious about what's in your local area uh, you might find some surprising info there hope this video is useful if you'd like to get more videos from me then feel free to subscribe to this youtube channel